And there you have it, Donald Trump with an endorsement from Chris Christie, the New Jersey governor, as you just heard. A lot to take in there. So why don't we just go for it? Elizabeth Harrington is a reporter with the Washington Free Beacon. Susan Ferriccio is chief congressional correspondent for the Washington Examiner. So everyone was talking about the debate until that moment. <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> uh, what do you think is the impact of this? Well, uh, two things. I think that it's very clear that Christie is not a fan of Marco Rubio and maybe thinks he can get a slot at attorney general uh, in case Trump is able to win uh, the presidency. But does this change things? It changes the narrative today and it really what we've seen throughout this campaign, Trump is able to get, control the media. And up until this point, we we're talking about the debate, how Marco Rubio finally grasp how you attack Trump, you get on his level, you uh, get, try to give him low blows, you make fun of his tweets, you know, you say he's having a meltdown. Just as Rubio's figured this out, Trump takes all the oxygen away from him, announces this uh, endorsement out of nowhere, and it's the same thing we've seen throughout this campaign. He's changing the narrative once again. So Susan, there's a, it's an interesting point because it talks about short-term impact of this and long-term impact. Elizabeth's saying long-term, maybe this endorsement doesn't mean a lot. Short-term though, over the next several hours, <laughs> as news coverage is continuing to what's ahead on Super Tuesday, what's the impact of this? Well, short-term is really all that matters now because we have the Super Tuesday contest coming right up. Today was a day for Rubio to capitalize on his big performance last night, and what happens? Trump comes along with this major, major endorsement from Chris Christie. So long-term impact, will Christie's endorsement open the door for others to get behind Trump at this point? That would be a big deal. Is he going to sort of pave the way for others to say, okay, look, Trump is looking like the nominee. I'm going to put my bet on this winning horse at this point. So it could have a long-term impact. But let's face it, Rubio has a really short window right now to make an impact and to start winning. Today was the first day to sort of get off on that start. And Trump basically, as, as the previous guest said, has taken the oxygen out of the room and has taken over the narrative today. You know, Rubio was coming out strong earlier today. He was at a rally in Dallas. He's going to Oklahoma City next, Elizabeth. And so we just asked the question, what is the impact of Chris Christie joining Trump on Trump's campaign? But Susan brings up another good point. Chris Christie's out again, attacking Rubio. We've seen Chris Christie not be successful in his own campaign for president, but he was very effective attacking Rubio. So what is the impact on Rubio today? Just with, again, those, those, uh, the, the doubts that Chris Christie raises and the fact that he's back out in front again. Right. Well, I think we just saw uh, Trump got another 33 minutes of airtime to, again, try to brand Rubio as what he's calling him, a choke artist, uh, a lightweight. He just got all of this more media attention to change the narrative back from the really effective, smart attacks from Rubio. I think that was a very strong press conference he had earlier today where he was hitting Trump and, and making fun of him uh, for his tweets and that he was having a meltdown, you know, during the breaks of the, uh, during the debate last night. But again, we're not going to be talking about this the rest of the day. I, we're going to be talking about Trump's, you know, getting this endorsement from Christie, uh, and we're not going to be talking about those effective attacks that Rubio uh, had. So I think the smart play for Rubio is to continue with this message, keep going out there, attacking Trump where he can, getting down to his level, doing it with a smile, making fun of him. That's a smart move for him. But he's, again, the oxygen is just sucked out of the room once again. It, it's it's going to be hard because Trump is just controlling this narrative. I have to take a quick commercial break. But one, uh, one watcher of what's happening in the political scene in this country right now, specifically when it comes to the Re Republican Party, says that all of this, what's happened over the last 24 hours, is really just ensuring that a Democrat will win the White House. I'm going to ask you both about that. After a quick commercial break, we'll be right back with more happening now.